Now, if there's one question I get asked a lot when it comes to sword fishing, it's how to set your sounder up. Okay, with my 295, my Fereno, I've got a two kilowatt, a variable frequency. So it's 6110, so I can change the frequency. So I normally set it around 60 to 80, depending on you know the water clarity. And it, the important thing is chop and change it. Second thing we do is we go to menu, we go to TX, RX, and you go down to target echo. And if we press enter on that, you've got normal surface, squid, deep sea. We use deep sea because that'll give you the best picture down here. The second thing we do that's really important is to go, come back out, get us both, is to go and you set up, so you want to see the bottom. So what we've got there, you can see it's 350 fathoms, I've got mine set in fathoms. I don't want to see the whole lot, so I go into shift, what we do is you go range, and when you do it properly, you dial it up and down. So I'm sitting in 110 fathoms, but my shift has got that at 110 fathoms. So that's the whole lot. And what I can do is I can move up and down the screen just by pushing the shift up and down, which means my 110 fathoms is up and down. So it's 200 meters, so it can actually, if you want to see the bottom even better, so we go to menu, we go down to systems, we go to range, we go to 110 fathoms, and we're going to, let's bring it up to 80 fathoms, so that's about 150 meters we're going to view. So we're going to go to there, enter, and then it's escape, 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 clear that. Then we go to range, and we dial, turn it, there we go, to 90, we're going to go to 80, radio. And now, you can see instantly there, so enter on that. We're not getting the bottom, so we press the shift down, and you can see it rising up through the screen there. Go to 270 and you should see the bottom. There you go, 270, it's, you can just start to see the bottom there. So this is the important part. You use your shift, you pick the depth you want to view, which in this case is uh, 80 fathoms, and then you just shift up and down so you can see it. And that way you get a really good picture at the bottom and you find the all important bait so you can catch a swordfish. And of course with these videos, we're rocking and rolling because it's real time on the water and the guys are actually prepping the gear right now. So it's not perfect and polished, but it will catch you a lot of fish. Well, hopefully.